Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Bombshell report: McCain to step down. A bombshell report from True Pundit says Senator John McCain will step down from his Senate seat in the next few weeks. McCain is responsible for peddling the fake Trump Russia dossier to the FBI and has worked hard to block President Trump's America First agenda every chance he gets. The globalist senator is reportedly stepping down due to health concerns stemming from his brain tumor. From True Pundit White House officials are saying the administration expects John McCain to step down from the U.S. Senate in the coming weeks. A replacement is being negotiated now, a White House insider said. True Pundit reported on March 8 that McCain would be stepping down from the U.S. Senate, an exclusive that sent his wife Cindy over the edge. She claimed McCain was healthy, recovering from his cancer treatments and would return to the Beltway. She referred to True Pundit as crackbots. That was nearly two months ago and still, no sign of McCain in Washington, D.C. He has not been to work since December 17, 2017. Per the crackpot report in early March. Senator John McCain is not expected to return to Washington, D.C. politics, according to several sources who are closely monitoring his health and medical treatments at his ranch in Arizona. In fact, the Democratic Senatorial Campaign Committee is already in the process of selecting a candidate to run for McCain's Senate seat in a special election after McCain's expected retirement from the Senate, sources said. Candidates were contacted this week in fact as Democrats jockeyed to find new blood to oppose the GOP-held seat in Arizona. At this point, we are coming to terms that McCain is done here, in the Senate, one Senate insider on the Hill said Wednesday. Preparations are underway to deal with this. Democrats plan to tap Mark Kelly, the husband of former Representative Gabby Giffords, for the race, according to Beltway insiders. Sources said Kelly was contacted this week with a proposal. Just weeks ago, a White House official said McCain, known for his anti-Trump leaks to the media and his connection to the bogus Trump dossier was refusing to step down from the Senate despite his reported stage 4 brain cancer diagnosis and treatments. Now, sources said, the GOP and Democrats are prepping for a likely special election for his Arizona Senate seat. First, however, if McCain were to retire, the governor of Arizona would appoint an interim Republican to fill McCain's seat before a special election. That would give the GOP another vote in the Senate as McCain has been absent since Christmas. As True Pundit reported February 17, John McCain may never cast another vote in the U.S. Senate. But he plans to stay in Arizona and the U.S. Senate, according to a high-level White House source, regardless of GOP-backed pressure for him to retire from the Senate. McCain has been away for the Senate all week, missing votes and debate about a number of topics including tax cuts. This is not the first time McCain has sought medical treatment after his role in recent anti-Trump scandals have heated up. It is hard to tell if McCain's health is genuinely declining or not because he has played the card often to slip and slide out of answering questions for his role in Fusion GPS bogus Trump dossier. Emergency surgery. Late-stage cancer diagnosis. Bad Achilles. Boot on the wrong foot. The wheelchair. Now the hospital. McCain could in fact need all these medical devices and treatments. Or they could be props. Historically, McCain has been proven to simply lie. So it is hard for many to trust what he claims. A few weeks ago when McCain had vanished due to health reasons, again avoiding questions about the Trump dossier, he turned up in Italy slamming President Donald Trump. What is a guy with advanced brain cancer doing on a weekend junket to Italy if he is supposed to be treating his disease? That is the problem with folks who use illness for political gain, you never can tell if they are truly sick and if you criticize them for play acting when they are sick, then you can be easily labeled as insensitive. A guy like McCain is savvy enough to exploit such gray area. Looks like we were right on the money again. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.